Hello everyone, it's Migs and today we're going to be comparing the Beast X Mini and the Beast X 8K over here. I've already compared it to the old Beast X but now we're going to be comparing it to the Mini. So let's go ahead and get started right away. For the price, the new Beast X 8K over here comes in 159 in all variations at the moment with their collaboration with the Fabulous Beasts. Now for the Mini, you can get it for 139 all the way to $159 depending on the variation. But you can get a discount on both of these mouses if you use my code MIGSS on the whole WL mouse store. The Beast X Mini, you can definitely get it for a cheaper price at the moment compared to the Beast X 8K. Now, let's go to the unboxing. Starting with the Mini, open it up. By the way, I've already opened these boxes. I just put them back in place so you can see what you get inside the box. So, you get the WL Cat dongle, then you get the mouse. Under it, sorry if it's a bit unorganized, you get a USB Type-C to USB Type-A cable, instruction manual, grips, you also get PTFE skates. There was some here before but I already put it under the mouse but yeah you get two sets of PTFE skates. You also get some dot skates with the mouse. I already removed it though. And you get some more over here. Crazy. You got another two pair of glass skates this time with an, um, this amazing design. And you get another glass skate or at least when I bought it because I think it was pre-order so you get another glass skate. So that is a lot of skates. You also get this pouch traveling bag and you also get some stickers so yeah that's pretty much all you get for the mini now let's go to the beast x 8k over here you open it greeted with this logo and then you get the traveling case again but this time it's definitely much better more secured under it you get more accessories instruction manual and then here you get the PTFE. There's also more PTFE skates over, over here, but I already used it under the mouse. It also came with dot skates, but I already removed it. Two pairs of grips, alcohol pads. And under here, you also get some stickers, just like the first one. But this time, it's 3D stickers. Now over here, on the traveling case, open it. And then you get Fabulous Beast Magnet. And you get the dongle over here. It's like a paw. And then you have the mouse over here. Amazing. And another dongle, probably a 1K Hertz dongle. A USB Type-C to USB Type-A cable. And that's pretty much everything inside the box. They both come with amazing accessories, pretty much everything that you need. And they also have amazing unboxing experiences. But now let's actually go to the mouse over here. Let's start with the new feature of the Beast X 8K. It's the 8000 Hz polling rate, so really, really fast response times. Now for the Beast X Mini over here, it also had 4K before, just like the old Beast X, but they updated the software and the firmware. You can get up to 8000 Hz wireless on this thing now, so really, really cool. I already tested it, and yeah, you can get this up to 8000 Hz in the software. Now for the switches, the Beast X 8K over here has a TTC Neo transparent black dot. Now for the Mini over here, it has a Huano transparent blue shell pink dots. Here's a little comparison of the sound. They're both light switches, I don't really have any problems with them. The Beast X 8K switches are just a little bit louder though. Both switches feel amazing, very responsive and snappy. Now for the scroll wheel, I feel like this is where there's gonna be a lot of differences. Beast X 8K, there is a rubber scroll wheel with this design. And it is very amazing to scroll, very grippy because of the rubber and also the feel, it's very light but not too light where you'll accidentally scroll it. Very defined steps. Now for the mini over here, it also has some texture on the scroll wheel so it's not gonna slip out. And it is a bit more harder and tighter, this scroll wheel, so it's not as light and easy to scroll as these. But it is still pretty easy to scroll for me. And a tighter scroll wheel and a harder to scroll scroll wheel means less accidental scroll so you will definitely have more control on this thing but it's not really a big deal it will depend on your personal preference which one you would like more but 
They're both amazing scroll wheels. Now for the battery, the Beast X8K here has a 300 milliampere hour battery. They said it on the website. Now for the Mini, they didn't really specify the the battery it has, but I'm guessing that the new Beast X8K maybe has a little bit better battery. I'm not 100% sure because they didn't really mention it on the Beast X Mini, but when I used them both, they both have amazing battery life. I didn't really had any problems with them. As long as you charge them like a single time a day, you can probably keep using this on 8000 Hertz. Now coming to the weights, starting with the new Beast X over here with the grips and the skates over here, 41.7 grams. Now for the Mini, with the grips and the skates comes in 36.5 five gram difference whoa okay that is actually not a small difference so if you want a lighter mouse go for the <laughs> beast x mini over here and if you have some dot skates that you can put here it'll definitely be lighter as well and yeah that's more than five gram difference this is probably where there's gonna be the biggest difference on the shape now the Beast X8K also has the same shape as the old Beast X and the mini smaller size of course. They are both usable shapes for me. My hand size is 18 by 8 centimeters. Now that's I think medium to small hands. If you have a smaller hand size than mine, then you might like the Beast X mini over here. I have like a claw kind of grip that's also a little bit of a palm, it's kind of weird. But yeah, I can grip the Mini pretty fine. And if I have a fingertip grip, I can definitely grip the Mini amazingly with a fingertip. You will have so much more space over here and it's gonna be lighter. But for my grip, I would still prefer the Beast X 8K shape. I like the level of the hump. I would compare it to the Starlight 12 medium size if you've used it before. It has a little bit more of a hump though compared to the Starlight 12. The hump is just perfect. My hand sits amazingly with the hump i can use it and utilize it pretty well and yeah just makes my aim more stable and more controlled the beast x 8k shape just fits my hand size and my grip a bit more so if you like using humps the beast x over here would definitely have that hump more compared to the beast x mini but yeah that will definitely depend on your grip which mouse size you would like more now going to the software they pretty much have the same software both of them they have the same features they can go both up to 8000 hertz the software is pretty similar similar design both amazing softwares i have no complaints so which one should you get the shape will definitely be the biggest deciding factor over here again if you really like humps go for the medium size or maybe for the max i already ordered one with my code m-i-g-s-s -S, amazing discount code but yeah that will have a bigger and higher hump compared to this because it's a bigger mouse it's like the large beast x so yeah that will probably be your deciding factor not much difference on both mouses to be honest except the shape and the clicks and the looks Oh, and yeah, for the looks, I guess, there's a lot of different variations. The ones I got, they both look pretty clean. You can go ahead and check their other variations if you want. But yeah, both amazing looks. Both amazing mouses. Stay tuned for the Beast X Max review as well. I'm gonna be doing that and probably gonna be comparing it to both of these mouses. But yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to stay grateful. Remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.